Hello everyone, welcome to my channel CAD Tutorials for Beginners and in this tutorial we are going to create a model of spanner. So uh, just see the drawing of this spanner here. So uh, we use this spanner in our household activities or the uh, industrial activities we will use it. So just create this the part design. So uh, to create this, we'll sketch on the top plane. So I uh, will first, uh, before going to start the modeling, we need to first understand how to create this sketch. So from this drawing, you can see here, this is the distance between these two circles, center points. So is 100 mm. So for this center point and this center point is 100 mm and now you can see uh, there is a circle given of a 16 mm radius and here with a 15 mm radius and this is the slot provided so so for uh, to start this sketch we will first create this circle here so let us create a circle of 16 mm radius so first create this the 16 mm radius that is the diameter will be 32 so now we got this first point here similarly we will create the another circle of 15 mm radius so for, for that we will just create one simple construction line for our reference purpose and create this 30 diameter that is a 15 mm radius circle so and now we'll, we know uh, the distance between these two points this is and this is it will be 100 so now here we will create this slot first so this is a 9 mm radius and there are some dimensions missing in this drawing so this center point is 2 mm from above from this center center of this bigger circle and it is 6 mm from this center horizontally so let us create this circle first here of radius 9 let's provide the dimension let's say 18 mm diameter and provide this dimensions over here let's add 2 mm and here from this to this add a horizontal dimension of 6 mm and now there is an angular uh, slot available of 13 so uh, let us select this 163 degree centigrade so create a line here select from this point and here select this line select this line so it will be 163 minus 180 so or 180 minus 163 so it will be 17 degree let's provide this a 17 degree angle So let's create this line and offset this 13 mm. So 13 mm by 2 on the both the sides. So make an offset here. Select this line. On this side it'll be, it will be 13 by 2 similarly on this side it will be 13 by 2 so again make offset to this side and again add it 13 by 2 
so make sure there is a contact and we'll create this so uh, so you just uh, will close this with the help of trim command so select the trim command here and select this line and make it extended so now uh, go to the use this uh, quick trim option and we will trim this unwanted edges just So uh, trim this, these are the all unwanted edges, sorry, we have just deleted that, yes, so this, this, this is what we need actually. So trim this edge over here and this one and this one. So now go to just and make this go to the geometry. So there is one circle. Okay, so this circle is here. So that is close and this one is close. So we have these two profiles and now we'll just make a geometry for this circle as well. So let us check this one. So again this uh, 13 mm diameter we have to create, similarly create uh, this circle here. So uh, take a circle command and create this circle with a 13 mm diameter that is 26 mm diameter. So this is uh, 26 and this one is 32. And now again uh, we need to provide these dimensions that are missing from the drawing. So on the bottom side it will be a 2 mm distance and the word horizontal distance is 6 mm. So let us add this 6 mm here and now similarly create a center line and there is an angle given that is 17 degree here. So select this one, select these two lines and this one. So this angle should be 17 degree. Again, we'll make an offset of this and offset distance will be 17 mm. So select this offset on the both side. Select this line and on the both side, you just provide this 17 by similarly provide 17 by 2 you can uh, mirror this as well so again we'll use this trim command and just extend this line over here and now use the quick trim option and trim this unwanted edges sorry just make control z here and select this So just create this profile here and now you can use again with a sketch analysis and you will find there are two implicit close profiles.
and just exit this workbench and make a pad of a 3 mm on the mirror or maybe a 1.5 mm so in this do do diagram so there is nothing given regarding the pad so we'll just create of this dimension and we'll change it later on if required so now select the sketch again and we'll sketch on this plane sorry i have selected the wrong orientation here make a swap so here we'll create this profiles now so this is at uh, 11 mm so maybe it must be or on in the center of so just select this center here and make a offset from this side and toward this side sorry i have selected this dimension so it is 11 mm so just make both side is 11 by 2 okay so it is already 11 by 2 and again make this 11 by 2 make this project over here similarly project this one and now the radius is provided that is 23 and 47 so select this round and add this radius to this round here similarly select this one and this one so you can create on the one side and make a mirror of it on the other side so i just created here so i'll just delete this and we'll make a mirror of it so add the radius is 23 mm and here it is 47 mm so let us add 47 on this side just delete this delete this one again make a project so make this as a continuous and we'll make a mirror of it just select the sketch and make a mirror here and now we will erase this unwanted portion double click here and make this delete this delete this and now just exit the workbench so here we will again make a pad option and we'll just try 1.5 and 1.5 and we'll add more so let's say 2.5 so 2.5 and 2.5 and we have created this as a 1.5 so let us add to here so in this way you can create a spanner over here so yeah, it is done now so thank you very much for watching and please like and subscribe my channel for more videos thank you